Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Günther Teseling. I'm an electrophoresis specialist at Serva Electrophoresis GABH in Heidelberg, Germany. And the next couple of minutes, I'd like to introduce you into our new range of products for the EPO doping control. EPO blood doping is one of the most often used uh, doping um, chemistry, doping technology um, to increase performance of sports people around the world. And the International Anti-Doping Association has developed a method to control the EPO misuse and the use of EPO for doping involving isoelectric focusing and SDS electrophoresis. And since Serva is a specialized company in this area, uh, we try to offer convenient products for the two methods for EPO doping control. Why electrophoresis for EPO doping control? Well, natural EPO differs from recombinant EPO by the length of the carbohydrate chains whereas the amino sequence is identical. The reason for that is um, that the recombinant APO is grown in an, another uh, type of uh, cells, not in human cells, uh, but in animal cells, and therefore the carbohydrate chain is different. Recombinant and natural APO show different running speeds in SDS page due to the different size of the molecule. And the difference in glycosylation leads to different isoelectric points of the isoforms, and therefore can be separated by isoelectric focusing. Immunodetection after blotting, for instance pressure or electrotransfer, allows secure detection of EPO isoforms. Erythropoietin variations available on the market. You see, there is a long list of different commercially available EPO uh, drugs for medication of uh, patients. Uh, of course, these uh, commercially available drugs uh, are not uh, produced for uh, doping, but a vast minority of the amount of uh, EPO produced for therapeutic purposes is misused for doping. Here a picture of an SDS page uh, done by Dr. Sven Voss from the Sports University in Cologne in Germany and it shows the different um, running um, distances of the different uh, species, of the different EPO products, and uh, com in comparison to the unmodified, the original uh, human uh, EPO. And this picture shows that with the technology called SDS page, you can separate and discriminate between natural and recombinant EPO products. There was an publication uh, in 2012 by the group of Christian Reichel from the Vatra laboratory uh, in, in Austria and uh, this was um, showing that the variation differentiation uh, was easily possible using a dedicated modified isoelectric focusing method combined uh, with electroblotting and immunodetection. The analytical workflow of uh, this technology starts with urine, the sample is taken from the athlete, and then uh, there is of course subsequent to the sample taking, the sample preparation step starts with ultrafiltration to separate the, from particles, um, and then the next step is an antibody-based EPO enrichment, a pretty complex method to increase the concentration uh, of EPO in the sample to make it possible to detect it. Uh, the next step um, is a so-called SAR page for screening or isoelectric focusing as a reference for positive screening results or vice versa. SAR page is a special type 
of electrophoresis where the standard uh, anionic detergent is replaced, the standard uh, detergent is SDS, uh, and the standard detergent is replaced by sarcosine laurel, uh, which is a molecule that is similar to SDS but has a different uh, chemistry. The next step then is the transfer from the electrophoresis gel to a blotting membrane and that can be done by electroblotting or press blotting. And finally, the APO is detected uh, using antibody labeling and hemoluminescent detection and evaluation. This is an isoelectric focusing result that is produced according to the BADA procedures. Uh, this comes again from the Sports University in Cologne from Dr. Foss and it shows the different EPO variations um, and the bands, the so-called uh, isoelectric focusing bands uh, that are standing for the different isoforms of the EPO molecules. Um, this drawing shows how the proteins are transported out of the gel uh, onto a membrane. Um, the me membrane makes it possible that the large antibody molecules have access to the EPO proteins uh, in the sample and then you can have the reaction between the antibody and the EPO molecules for detection. Um, pressure blotting is an alternative to electroblotting and pressure blotting uh, is a method that uh, safely works uh, and gives at least as good results as electroblotting and doesn't require any electroblotting equipment. The material involved is a membrane first, in this case it's a PVDF membrane with a pore size of 0.2 micrometer. Um, this membrane is also available from Serva and uh, here you have the order number for the membrane. Then we have a blotting buffer. The blotting buffer contains as a kaotroph uh, guanidine hydrochloride in 50 millimolar uh, trischloride at pH 7.5. Uh, we also need blotting paper and um, here you have the specification of the blotting paper and the size. The protocol is pretty simple. Um, post electrophoresis gel equilibration, three minutes in blotting buffer, and then membrane equilibration, approximately 50 seconds in 2 propanol, then dipped in blotting buffer. The principle of the uh, pressure blotting is also very, very simple. You have the blotting sandwich, and you put a, a defined weight it on top of the sandwich and then the, the G force, the weight of the of the five the five kilos in this case, um, they create a capillary effect. So the water is pressed pressed out of the gel and the water is then um, flooding the proteins out of the gel and then they can stick to the membrane. Here is the result. Uh, using Serva EPO focus scale. Uh, this result comes from the second German WADA laboratory in Kreischer in Saxonia um, and another result comes from the WADA laboratory at the Sports University uh, in Cologne also obtained using the Serva EPO focus scale. Um, and the third result, the same type of gel comes from the laboratory Bader Laboratory in Cybersdorf in Austria. Um, these are typical results. In this case, uh, we obtained, we took the results from the VADA website. And here you see an example of the image analysis using um, specialized GASEPO software. This software is tailor made uh, for this application, and all VADA laboratories are using this for the secure evaluation of. Um, a, a result that finally can even be used in front of a court because um, in case that the, uh, the sports people and the VADA laboratories um, come not 
don't come to an agreement and need uh, a judge. So the new products that we have for the APO detection are shown here. Um, it's two different kits. One is for the APO doping isoelectric focusing um, with a pH interval of 2 to 6. Contains four rehydratable clean gels uh, with 30 slots for the samples each, all wicks, buffers, and reagents. And there is another kit with another different pH interval from 3 to 5 that is used for the producing industry for EPO quality control uh, since they prefer a slightly different uh, pH interval. It also contains four rehydratable gels, has 24 slots, wicks, buffers, and reagents as the doping kit. And there is some new products coming what we have got in our development department in the pipeline that is a precast gel ready to use for the sarcosine laurel uh, electrophoresis also with 30 slots for samples with ready to use running buffer and electrode wicks. So the new products for uh, additional products for APO detection will be the APO press plotting system, easy to use press plotting system, uniform pressure distribution over the entire surface and adjustable pressure regulation by different weights that can be put on the pressure system. Um, and an APO doping detection kit uh, containing the specific primary antibody and the horse reddish labeled secondary antibody and the substrate for chemiluminous sense detection with the highest uh, sensitivity. Um, some words about uh, doping for horses and racing camels, also using um, human uh, recombinant uh, EPO. It's the same doping effect as for humans and the same detection chemistry and equipment is required. Uh, there are selected VADA and specialized animal doping uh, laboratories around the world providing testing and the antibody synthesis against the recombinant human EPO causes severe medical problems. This is a true downside for uh, EPO doping of animals. Um, yeah. The <clears throat> instrumentation used for the isoelectric focusing, this is the latest technology that SEVA has introduced to the market, a drawer system um, with an aluminum oxide ceramic cooling plate uh, that offers very high cooling capacity. Um, it comes with three electrode positions for 270 millimeter, 195 and 115 millimeter separation distance for different size of gels. It's easy to load and handle has a very low buffer volume and is tailor-made for film-backed horizontal gels. Uh, for higher throughput, SEVA offers the so-called high-performance electrophoresis blue tower. You can run four gels simultaneously with an unmatched resolution and reproducibility. It's very easy to load and handle, like for the uh, single cooling plate unit Again, here we work with very low buffer volume and it's again tailor-made for film-backed horizontal gels. And as with the single cooling plate unit, you can run different types of cells for diff gels for different technologies like 1D SDS page, isoelectric focusing or 2D electrophoresis. It comes uh, with a power supply. This power supply has an uh, up to date um, electronic um, and programmable uh, functionality. It's uh, fully crossover, that means it can control current, watts, and voltage simultaneously. It is programmable by not maximum nine different programs containing nine different steps as a weight function, time of function, and comes with a blue power control kit that controls and registers all electrophoretic parameters. Thank you for attention and <clears throat> have a good walk.